Well, we have almost come to the end of our service. I don't have a long sermon for you. You should be saying, you should be saying, praise the Lord. <clears throat> but we all have been preparing for this day. For those of us who grew up in the mainline denomination churches, for the last four Sundays, we have been inching every Sunday closer and closer to this day. Well, after this day, after tonight, you do not have to worry about lighting candles. You do not have to worry about shopping anymore. <laughs> I'm sure whether the, your lists have been marked, checked, or not. This is it. Whether you are going somewhere or whether you're expecting somebody to be your guest at home, well, you don't have to worry because it's done. What is done is done. Now it's time for you and me to relax and enjoy the day and enjoy the company or wherever you are going as a guest, go politely and sit on the table, not on the table, around the table, <laughs> and enjoy what your friend or a family have prepared for you. It's time to breathe this deep breath, you know, when you have worked so hard you come to the end of the day and you sit, you, you lift your legs up on a lazy boy or something. And then you sigh a big relief. It's done. Christmas. We've been preparing so hard laboring so hard, spending so much. Today, it's time to relax and welcome the one for whom we have been laboring for so long. This child, this child, prophet had spoken about this child, that someday, in the history of the humanity, God, Son, will come. In other words, the Holy One of God, the Almighty that we hear, chose to become one of us. The big word is incarnation right God taking upon himself a form of humanity so that this God is not so distant and far from us but one who is intimately involved and understand and relates to the humanity our cause our pain God says, I need to go. Yeah. And so, and so, the Christmas story, story comes into being. God simply writing a big check and saying, I love them all. Is not great. I love them all. God's righteousness shall be upon them, not only for one generation, but from generation to generation until the end of time. What a glorious, great news. 
we are the lucky one because we have heard it. Not only heard it, we embraced it. Not just embraced it, but we're living it. Yeah. Faith is not just a confession, I believe. Rather, faith is about what do you and I do when we leave from this door back to the world from where we came, right? That's what faith is. Faith is living our lives in the way God loved us and learning to love others as God loved all of us. That is the beauty of Christmas. That's the beauty of our celebration today. Glad you came. Glad you heard the scriptures from Genesis all the way to Revelation and sung partially hymns, not all, but some that had that spoke to you. Hymns that you grew up singing, scripture passages that was read to you by your mom or dad or grandpa or somebody, or in Sunday school you heard it and it resonated. Ah, uh, the gospel came alive for you tonight. And so, don't go empty handed. Go basketful because you have received God's word in many fold tonight. Leave with love and live your life with love is all I can say to you this day because the one who comes to redeem has come. We are no longer homeless, but we are saved by grace alone. Amen?